residing within you, within that, that immortal threefold flame that sits in the secret chamber of your heart is that part of you that recognizes something here isn't right. And you may not have a clue what that is. You may not have a clue where to start looking for it, but it's that little nagging voice or that little nagging energetic you know, it's kind of in here, kind of between the solar plexus and the heart. It's just kind of there going, keep looking. Like, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I have a sense I'm going to recognize it when I find it. Does that resonate with anybody? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, out of, out of ignorance, I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> what I know is what I've done thus far. And I can mm-hmm. recognize where it didn't, uh, it, it didn't ultimately lead me to where I thought I was going. So I'm in one sense, I know what I don't want, but unless you've had the experience, how would you know what you do want? You wouldn't. So that little voice in there, that, that greater aspect of yourself that is still in communication, albeit limited, but in communication can keep sending you little signals here and there that that send you those bits of reminders that go, Oh gosh, look at that. You know, the things that just make you stop and pause or the things you come across, like a magazine article that you read and you're like, wow, I don't know why, but that feels so right, you know, and it's a beautiful thing when it comes to the specific work that I do with my students is that that's always, always (laughs) something that a seeker or a student of mine comes to somewhere along their journey with me is they'll have the moment going. I don't know why, but that feels so right. Yeah. Linda, Kelly, and I could see both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is. <laughs> because your knowing isn't mental, right? Your knowing is knowing. It, it resides outside of the mind altogether. So when you experience it, there is a resonance that's very real. Very, very real. But it transcends the mind. So you'll be left with it like, I don't know why. Like, I can't cognize why but boy that feels so right or I have a sense that that is truth right and now of course the work is to go from that point where you just got that piece of information that really resonated to now get you to a space where you can back up enough to be able to see underneath it to see why right to see why and to see all of the components that kept you from truly experiencing yourself as the divine, right? Yourself as, um, as, as God. So it's a good reminder. It's always a good reminder to think about why am I seeking, you know, and a, a valid thing. What am I seeking? (laughs) What am I seeking? And it's always a good question, right? And that's a lot of times where you, um, really can, yeah, what do they say? Separate the wheat from the chaff in that question, right? Because the one who's ready, truly ready, they'll be seeking from the space of like, you know, this is terrible. I don't want to live like this forever. But that isn't the, pri- the primary reason for their seeking. You understand? For the true seeker, the one who's willing and will commit to doing the level of work involved to truly wake up. That seeker is doing it for a completely different reason. They're doing it because it's not a choice anymore, <laughs> right? Linda understands that. It's not a choice. It's, it's, I have to do this. Like, it's not even about, do I want to anymore? Now I have to, if you feel compelled, like whatever this thing is that I'm still missing, that, that has eluded me, <laughs> I have to find it now kind of like a treasure hunter who's just completely obsessed with finding the treasure and will spend a lifetime looking for the buried treasure. No different for the seeker. And then for the seeker, of course, it's lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And in the world, we see more people than not who aren't in that space, right? 
Well, of course, because it's not time for the collective yet. What it's time for now is for people just like each of you, because you are the vanguard of those who will be the awakened souls on the planet and who will be in place to help the collective awaken.